The science Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who is obsessively spying on you right now and why. Today is the 9th of December. Time is 4.38 p.m. Um, and this is a collective reading for water signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, who is obsessively spying on water signs right now and why. Oops. <laughs> Six of Swords. Three cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone you're not with currently because the tower here can indicate maybe you're separated from this person. So they could be obsessively spying on you with the eight of wands here, possibly online or looking back at text messages. Will of fortune in reverse can indicate them feeling stuck, right? But also for some of you, if you've blocked this person, then they may be feeling really frustrated with the tower here to a brink of like exploding. So they could be obsessively trying to gain some information in regards to you. Only if you have blocked this person, yeah? Because again, the Will of Fortune and Lovers can indicate them, you know, just feeling really stuck and frustrated with the tower here. And the Eight of Wands of, you know, trying to gain some information in regards to you or maybe wanting to talk to you, right? And the King of Cups here in Lovers, this could be some, this could be you, yeah? This actually water sign Pisces, Cancer, or is Scorpio, but roles can be reversed. This could be somebody whom could have hurt you in the past with the nine of wands, could have made you feel really emotionally unstable at one point. But it could also be them. Right now, this person could be obsessively spying on you because they could be feeling really emotionally unstable. And then with the nine of wands, feeling really hurt and really wanting to not end this connection or not want this uh, ending to be a permanent ending or wanting to revive this connection with you, okay? Six of Swords can indicate maybe this is somebody um, from abroad. It may not always mean that, but it could also mean that this is someone who would like to move towards calmer water with you or this is someone you've already moved on from, okay? Or trying to move on. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Ace of Cups here, it does feel like this person does love you. This person also could be obsessively spying on you to see if you are in love with someone else, right? Or if you still love them. Could be them trying to look at pictures. This is just for some of you. If you do have social media and you used to post pictures of this person and you, they may want to see if their pictures are still there or if you have removed it. Some of you, you may have removed it and they, it could kind of hit them with a the tower here. Like, oh my God, they're serious, they're done. Or if the pictures are still there, then they may have some hope of a reconciliation with you. Um, we got the Ten of Cups here in reverse, so it looks like this is someone you used to be happy with. Could have talked about the future, having children together, or may have had, may have had children with this person. Three of Cups social card, so most likely on your social media, they could be obsessively spying um, on. This person could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with the King of Wands here. This person could have put you in a third party situation with the Three of Cups unless you're the one putting them in a third party situation so they could be obsessively spying on you, wondering if you are still putting them in a third party situation or that they don't trust you with the moon here, right? This being paranoid. Or it could be this, it could be this person or it could be you whom you may have had doubts in regards to this person. You may have um, had an inkling that maybe 
they were involved with somebody else with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords here in row first. Most likely, you're not talking to this person right now, or this person could have been a liar, keeping a lot of secrets from you. And Three of Wands in reverse can indicate this, is, this could be someone you have decided to turn your back on. And maybe the way things ended between the two of you was very dramatic, very sudden. Or it was very unexpected, right? Five of Cups here can indicate this person is feel feeling regretful or remorseful over maybe something that they have done in the past, in the past causing this tower here, causing this connection to end. I feel like most likely <clears throat> for a lot of you, this is somebody you no longer are with currently. I do see them kind of, they may find you to be quite mysterious right now, okay, what is nice, I feel like maybe either you have blocked them or that you haven't been posting much or something you're not telling them, so the more you don't tell somebody, the more quiet you are if you're giving them a silent treatment, <coughs> excuse me, the more they want to find out, right, the more curious they are. So I feel like right now they could be curious if you you have started something new with Ace of Cups here. And if they sh should express to you how they feel, if they should ask for a second chance. So there are a lot of questions here with the moon here. With the moon, it feels like they're uncertain, they're doubtful, they have fear. This person may have fear you are with somebody else or that maybe you've already moved on or you have already moved away to a different place that you're completely done with them. So because the five cups here feels like they could be regretting and feeling maybe this is a little bit too late with the tower to revive this connection or to see you again with the three of cups here. They could also be still interested in you because the king of wands and eight of wands and the ace of cups still in the right position. So this person may be realizing with the tower here that they may have fallen in love with you they could also be curious to find out if you're pregnant for some of you or curious to find out if you have a child or children. That's just for some of you. That's very specific. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe this is someone who is keeping secrets about somebody else or something else that you may have unexpectedly found out with a tower here. And it may have hurt you unless roles are being reversed. All right, what are signs? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new because I post them every single day. In fact, I post them almost right away once I'm done with all of the readings. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention. Have I mentioned already? <laughs> I'm open for personal readings. Yeah, I think I've already mentioned it, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, if you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, yeah, I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care, water signs. Bye.